welcome to Waldingfield Farm in Washington, Connecticut. We're here to pick one of my early summer favorites, sugar snap peas. So how did you get into farming? We got into farming because of our older brother who started the farm in 1990 when he graduated from college. And he said he was gonna be starting a farm at our grandparents' place. And he asked me if I wanted to just kind of, you know, sort of come along. And I, you know, I didn't have any plans that summer. I was like, sure, I can do that. So it turned out to be kind of a fun summer job. And no one really knew that it was going to turn into 21 years of a family organic farm. Right. But that's what's happened. This has been actually the only job I've ever had. Wow. Yeah, which is kind of surreal. But it's, it's, yeah, but, you know. It was the older brother who, who you follow his lead often, and uh, this mm -hmm. turned out to be, for Quincy and me, something which we've pursued. Was your brother's mission to always be organic? Being certified organic to us is, it's important. Um, we're not officious about, you know, being an organic farm. It's just the way we decide to practice. I think that there's so many things in this world that are just sort of you know, sprayed and, you know, so sort of dumped and it was just more of something that we just, you know, from the start we just decided. It just seemed like a right fit. My featured ingredient is the yeah. sugar snap peas. Yes. So when someone's going to like go to a market to pick them up or something, what should they look for? How are they going to know they're like super good? I always, you know, I just give samples of them. That's the most convincing way to have someone buy it. Mm -hmm. uh, and they taste really, really great. And especially because they're so fresh. They, they're basically picked, you know, inside of a day of being sold. And that's like very rare. Like you, you find that at a farmer's market, but you would not find right. that in a store. When can people expect to see the peas in the markets? At uh, the farmer's markets, it's usually June and also like July 15, July 20. What's your favorite part about farming? I like rocks <laughs> and, you know, at a certain age, you know, if you're younger, you know, you like to be free. And, uh, it always felt to me just to be like the most free thing I could do. Uh, if I were caged, it wouldn't be a good thing. So it's nice and I never sort of felt that out here. I think that what I would like to get people to understand is that yes, certain agricultural practices, the sustainable practices that we try here, they, they have higher price points. Um, and trust me, we're not making millions doing this. But I want people to understand that, you know, it's the Jimmy Choo shoe that you feel necessary to buy for $400. Now that's expensive. Or, you know, a $100 pair of jeans, that's right. expensive. $3 for a bunch of arugula is not a lot of money. Um, so how we appropriate our disposable income is something our entire nation needs to get behind and realize that, you know, cheap food is, is great in concept, but we've reached a point now where the industrial food system is broken down because we've made things so cheap. That vision that Daniel had and then Quincy took over when Quincy began, ran the farm full time, uh, when Dan left and I had gone off to school and I was kind of a weekend farmer. Quincy took that same vision and essentially just increased it. So we have a good wholesale business. Uh, we do five farmers markets. Uh, we have well over a hundred CSAs. So the, the, the vision has, become, has stayed the same and it's just grown in size. So what's the future? What do you have plans for now? Uh, you just get better at it. Each morning I think I wake up and I don't really know very much and at the end of the day I feel like I know a little bit more mm -hmm. but it repeats itself every day so you know agriculture and running a small business is kind of like, a, like an open university. Every single day you're learning something and we try to impress that upon the kids who work for us because maybe one of them becomes a farmer. Crunchy, sweet, and fresh. So good. Now let's get into the kitchen before I snack on them all. <laughs>